When we choose a programming language or a framework, normally we consider development capabilities, documentation and strength of the community. Today we'll focus on performance difference between two famous frameworks. Django with 73,500 stars against the admired Ruby on Rails with 53,600 stars on GitHub using the latest stable Ruby version. I have set up two similar applications with basic database fetching and template rendering on two separate servers with identical specifications. Our test plan involves simulating a load of 100 concurrent users that will sum up in a RAM up period of 12 seconds and the whole test will last for 15 seconds. We are benchmarking marking response time and error rate and I have set up a GMeter client on each server to collect CPU and memory users. And we are ready so let's go. Very interesting, both applications start with similar response time at the 55 milliseconds. Now Django is the red and Rails is the purple. This graph really looks good for both Django and Ruby on Rails. They didn't cross the 1200 milliseconds. Now Ruby on Rails start with better performance and reach something like 300 millisecond performance difference. But at the end, as we add more concurrent users, Python performed better, Django is better performing than Rails here. Now let's navigate to the CPU collector metric. CPU users shows us slightly better performance for Ruby on Rails. It reaches 100% CPU usage at the 6th second, whereby Django has reached 100% at the 4th second. Now let's navigate to the memory collector. Now Ruby is the blue and Django is the red. And Django is handling the memory better, it's using like 74% of the memory, whereby Ruby on Rails with 80% of the memory. Now let's navigate to the summary report. And as we see here, we were able to collect 853 response from the Django application, whereby we collected 815 from the Ruby on Rails application. Now Python have an 11% error rate. This means from the 853 responses, 11% was not successful, whereby the Ruby on Rails application did not return any error. Ladies and gentlemen, overall Ruby on Rails has performed slightly better. Both applications has performed very well. We were able to respond under 1200 milliseconds. We are in one virtual CPU server with one gigabyte of RAM and for 100 concurrent users, this is really good results. And this also confirmed that the Python 3.12 has performance improvement. Now ladies and gentlemen again while today we focused on performance there are so many other criteria to consider. I hope you enjoy watching and see you next time.